questions and then we'll jump into coding okay yeah sure sure uh yes so which programming language are we comfortable with java java sure great uh yeah uh, so are you aware about the op concept oops concept in java yeah so mainly java is oops based so there are four uh, concepts and uh, encapsulation inheritance uh, abstraction and uh, polymorphism and polymorphism has to overriding and overloading okay so can you explain the polymorphism yeah polymorphism is uh, uh, two uh, it contains two things overriding and overloading so overloading is when uh, in in the same class if we want to overload a method so in that case we change the signature and we reuse it uh, the method with the same name and another is overriding so when we want a parent child relationship and in child class we want the same method but different implementation so that we uh, write uh, same method with same signature we write different implementation in child class and we can use whichever we want so that is called as uh, overriding okay so in case of overloading Uh, which method to be executed? Is it uh, decided at compile time or it is decided at runtime? So it is uh, decided at compile time because we have uh, different sets of uh, uh, argument, either uh, different number of arguments or different type of arg arguments, or on the basis of that, uh, whatever method we call that, only that method will be called. It is decided at compile time. Okay. Uh, can you share your screen? I'll share a folder file link with you. Okay. Uh, is this visible to you? Yes, it's visible. Okay, so I am facing some issue with the folder pad port. So do you have any notepad or something installed? Okay, yeah, I have notepad as well as IDE. Uh, whichever you want, I can open that. Uh, notepad would be better. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So just put a class. Okay. Uh, class my class or ten. Okay, my class I will uh, create. Yeah. Just put a method void uh, and one method which takes object as a parameter. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll. Uh, void method m one. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. It what arguments it takes? Sorry. Object. Single okay. object. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Similarly, just copy the same one and one method. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, copied. This time it is taking string as an argument. Okay. So outside this my class, just outside, no need to write main method. Just create object of this class okay. and call M one. Okay. So I'll create my class uh, M object. Okay. Now you want me to uh, call using M or BJ? You want me M1, to? M one. Yeah. M okay. call M one. What should I pass? Uh, null. Okay. You want me to call uh, M one method with a uh, null. Uh. Yeah. So now just tell me which M one method will be. 
yes so so null a string can also accept null and uh, an object can also be null uh, okay yeah so my third call will be uh, i think uh, there is a scenario of preference uh, that in this case uh, uh, when both accepts uh, both methods are able to accept then uh, i think uh, object will be called on the basis of preference uh, so object is called uh, preferred first okay sure yeah, yeah. okay okay uh, that's fine so yeah that's fine uh, so tell me something about inheritance okay in a hidden is uh, when we are uh, uh, when when we have some uh, methods and we want to uh, uh, have some different implementation of those methods into child classes so then we use a concept of in, uh, inheritance and in, it can be uh, done with the help of extending the class or implementing an interface okay and what is encapsulation and what is encapsulation yeah encapsulation is the process of uh, uh, uh like suppose a class so uh, uh collecting uh, encapsulating uh, different data members data methods uh, together that is called as encapsulation can you repeat yeah encapsulation i'm saying is that is the uh, uh, process of uh, binding uh, members methods together like in a class so that is a uh, encapsulation uh, we have all the methods and uh, uh, variables bind together uh, in a class that is called okay. encapsulation yeah okay oh uh, yeah that's correct uh, i am sharing one question with you okay okay uh, in the next chat just paste it in notepad so you can remove this my class okay this is bombay uh, to delhi to delhi to goa right this thing yeah mm. uh there is like There is a question, an entire question about there is some info. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, this is correct, right? Input is uh, Chennai to Bangalore, Bangalore to Delhi, Delhi uh, mm. Goa to Chennai, Delhi to Goa. Output should be. Okay. So basically, you have to write a program. That takes this input, okay, and you have to shift the following output. Uh, so basically, I want to travel the input cities. Okay, I want to travel all the cities that are mentioned in the input. Okay, but the thing is, at more uh, and the input shows these are the uh, flights available. That is, I have a flight from Chennai to Bangalore only. Then I have another flight from Mumbai to Delhi. Go out to Chennai and Delhi to go. So you have to tell me from which city should I start and at which city should I end. That is the complete output, complete route you have to give me as the output. The criteria is I can visit only once each city, maximum one time. Okay. okay. Can I put it this way? Input is the available. Flights. Okay, I have flight available on from Chennai to Bangalore. I don't have any flight from Chennai to Bombay. Okay. okay. So based on the input flights, you have to tell me what route should I take so that I cover all the cities plus I visit each city only one time. That's the out, right? If I start from Bombay, I can go to Delhi. From Delhi, I can take a flight to Goa, from Goa to Chennai, and Chennai to Bangalore. Visiting each city only one. I'm completing all this. Okay, okay, got got your point. So suppose if I I think uh, let me start with Chennai, and from Chennai I will uh, go to Bangalore, and then I don't have any flight from Bangalore to uh, any other city that I want to go. So uh, yeah, that option I should neglect, right? Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, there will always be a single. Uh, 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 itinerary, right? Yes. Okay. Um, 
गोवा इफ आई गो फ्रॉम गोवा आई विल गो टू चेन्नई चेन्नई टू बैंगलोर बैंगलोर आई डोंट हैव एनी थिंग ओके फ्रॉम दिल्ली आई विल गो टू गोवा गोवा टू चेन्नई फ्रॉम चेन्नई टू बैंगलोर बैंगलोर आई डोंट हैव एनी थिंग ओके फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू गोवा गोवा टू चेन्नई चेन्नई टू बैंगलोर okay so one thing is uh, uh i'll i'll do this way the way i i traded it the same way i will go i will have a check on uh, uh there are uh, this will uh, this will be uh, one uh, the list will it, it will contain uh, four items suppose so i should be traveling uh, all the four things that is one and i should have a Wait. Uh, this thing I will store in uh, uh, hash map uh, key and value. Okay. So key will be uh, the boarding station, and value will be the of boarding station. Okay. So can you just write a simple method for easy understanding that takes hash uh, hash map as the input? Okay. Yeah. Uh, in output I. I I'll, I'll print that is fine right I can take void method. Yeah, yeah. void method. You can put it find root or any name you can give it that accepts a hash map. Okay. okay. I'll always uh, try to make it as plus one. Okay. Okay. First, explain uh, what logic are you trying to write? Okay. So what I'm doing, uh, trying to uh, write is uh, here. I will always uh, try to put inside map. I'll uh, uh, okay. So uh, this everything is present inside map. So I'm just trying to compare this thing whether this Bombay is present in this value or not. Okay. So uh, uh, sub, uh, I'll I'll, I'll uh, take you through output. Then uh, you will be able to. Uh, get my point so if okay. delhi is present this is delhi right this i am checking result map dot value so this okay. is delhi if delhi is present as a key in this same map okay then i'm okay i will go ahead i'll check goa if goa is present as a key in this same hash map then okay. i'm good and if result of goa is chennai if chennai is present as a key in this uh, same hash map then i'm good and i want to like if the size of this map is 4 then it should i i want to check till the last chennai if any of them in between is false then i will uh, start with some other uh, then i will not start with bombay i will start with delhi like first i will start with chennai if uh, this loop doesn't come till uh, end then I will uh, like four times we have four values then I will start with Bombay if it doesn't come till the end then I will start with Goa then I will uh, start with Delhi this way I want to I, trade, uh, I want to uh, this is uh, the algo that I decided for this okay okay thank you so basically you want to find out a city uh, which doesn't have which is not present in the uh, values, right? That means there is no flight that which has a destination at that particular city. So in this case, it is Bombay. There is no flight that goes to Bombay, right? Yes, yes. If there is no flight uh, uh, from uh, like if uh, there is no flight from uh, 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 now, like in the first iteration, I I I came to Bangalore. So if there is no flight from Bangalore, in that case I will ignore this uh, uh, this iteration. I will go for the next iteration, which starts from uh, I'll, I'll type it. Uh, then I will bet, uh, I'll sure. be better able to explain it. So first I will try from Chennai. I'll see whether there is uh, from Chennai I came to Bangalore. Then I I'll see from Bangalore there is no flight. So I will uh, uh, this result will come as uh, in this case result will be false result will be false so i will stop it uh, stop it here i won't uh, uh, go with this itinerary now i will uh, make another iteration where in which i will start from bombay so 
so from bombay i will come to delhi and uh, uh, and from delhi i am coming to uh, from delhi i am coming to goa and uh, from goa i am coming to uh, chennai and from chennai i am coming to bangalore and from bangalore i uh, i don't find any flight but uh, uh, i need to go to 1 2 3 4 okay uh, five uh, there are five destinations include uh, from chennai i need to go to uh, one so there uh, there should be total uh, five uh, uh, from chennai i will come to chennai included bangalore included from bangalore to uh, sorry uh, output is bombay to delhi bombay included bombay to delhi two delhi to goa three go to chennai four and Chennai to Bangalore five. So from uh, this this uh, this iteration will give me uh, I I have traveled all the five destinations. So this will give me true. So I will break break over here and then I will uh, say that this is my itinerary. If suppose this was uh, I didn't try it early. So after this I I I tried Goa. So from Goa I went to uh, from Goa I went to Chennai. And from Chennai, I went to uh, Bangalore. From Bangalore, I am not able to iterate. So this uh, this loop doesn't complete till five. So I will mark it as uh, here. Result will be false after this, right? Uh, result will be equal to false. So I'll I'll stop it here. I will go for next uh, trick, next itinerary. Uh, I'll start from Delhi. This way I'm planning. Uh, you got uh, my point. I'll I'll again. Uh, I can. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, I understood. So you can continue with the coding. Just tell me whether the for loop you are writing is that correct. Uh, this is uh, just for. This is, I think, the inner one. Uh, I need one more for loop over here. Okay, I am talking about syntax wise. See, the so you are your for loop. You are using routes dot entry set, right? Yeah. So does that return a mass? Does uh, sorry does that return correct your uh, map? So you are using for each map that is present in entry set. So entry set does it contain map? Okay, no no sorry sorry it won't return a map. It will return me entry. Okay. Yeah, it will return me. Uh, no no no, it will return me. Uh, 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 routes dot. Uh, will return me entry object I guess uh, so it won't be map uh, sorry so, uh, okay string and string yeah, it's it's an entry object. yeah it will be entry so, yeah. yeah so this is first thing and uh, before this uh, I need to make another loop which will uh, give me this whether I iterated uh, through all the four or not and all the four or not this this will give me uh, every uh, after every iteration i'll i'll have a counter uh, uh, inside this i will have a, uh, first i will have a for loop over here inside this for loop i'll put this This is my this for loop. Okay, and uh, inside this for loop, I will have one counter. Okay, yeah, I will have a counter here. So uh, here uh, the map uh, size is four only. So I'll uh, take the counter as uh, I'll, I'll hard code it as that the total number of destinations are five. So I'll uh, I'll check for five only. So I'll start it with uh, zero, and that. How will you know that the destinations are five? Total uh, places I can either uh, get the size uh, size of map that if size of um, map of size uh, size of map is uh, uh, four. In that case, uh, there are five destinations because I'm including starting destinations as destination as well. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if count here, so inside that uh, this one, if false, then I'll break. If if 
result equal to Then I simply simply break and otherwise if count is equal to count is equal to equal to five when I'm doing the count, count I'm doing it here. Count plus plus. Okay, and uh, one more thing. I'll keep on uh, pushing this uh, entire thing because here I want to print it, right? If count, uh, count is equal to 5, then I need to print it uh, over here. So I'll keep on pushing it uh, to. Uh, to a map with uh, the key as integer and value as the complete uh, this this set uh, this this set output set and uh, if the count is five then I'll get uh, that get the proper uh, uh, that this this count is uh, good uh, I'll create a map here here itself map of int integer comma string result map to hash map of string oh, okay, sorry. not required not required to this uh, count plus plus I'll uh, put it as okay. yeah every time I will keep on repeating yeah, that is when it will work so um, result map dot put count as the count comma and value I will put as a map dot value map dot value. So here I can print okay, this result map should be a I need to iterate on this map here. Present print this uh, this will print the entire map it contains the path only okay now this for loop uh, that's it okay uh, this for loop i will be uh, iterating Okay, just uh, tell me one thing in the for loop which I have written the inner for loop. Yeah. Uh, 
first line when you are checking the value of the entry and whether the same exists as a key in the same map you are checking, right? Yeah. You are looking over the entry. You are taking an entry, checking its value. So for first you will get Chennai Bangalore entry. The value will be Bangalore, and you are checking whether Bangalore exists as a key in the map. So there is no key as Bangalore in the map. Yeah. So your result will be false, and you will break the loop. Yeah. Okay. Your count is not five, so you will again go to the inner loop. Uh, so you so you will again go to the. So you will not enter the if condition, right? Count is not five. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you will again go to the outer loop. Yeah. Okay, then again you will outer loop from outer loop you will come to inner loop. You will do route slot entry. So it will again give you the Chennai Bangalore. Right, same entry. Uh, again, this time I want to. Uh, this is the logic I I am planning to decide. So first time it started with Chennai. So next time I want it to start with uh, the next. Uh, uh, next, I don't want it to start with Chennai. That uh, that is what I need to uh, uh, put into this. Okay. Logic I want. Okay. So let me help you. So let's before jumping into the code, let's. Let let check the problem. Okay, so there are four entries. There is a map with four entries you have. Okay? Yeah. So as you want, you mentioned you want to find a city in that map which exists in key but doesn't exist in value. Yes. Okay. So is there a better way you can do it? Because this is a hash map, right? So instead of using nested loops or Complex loops. There is. Is there a better way? Okay, like you are already using a hash map. You have a data structure. Hash map has some inbuilt methods. Yeah. You have to basically find the city that exists in key but doesn't exist in value. So any better way than writing this? Yeah, I know one uh, uh, one uh, one way, one more way. So that is uh, with using graph we can do uh, this uh, navigation stuff. That generally we use graph for that. Uh, so like okay. suppose if we uh, if we like uh, generally suppose if uh, we keep these all the four uh, locations at four corners of a square and then we can see which one is faster, which one is uh, where we can traverse to. So that for these such okay. problems we use graph. So you already have a hash map. You already have a data structure ready. Okay, that is what the user is passing you. Yeah. So let's not create one more data structure. It will increase the space complexity in this. So using hash map itself, can you think you have something called an entry set? So similarly, you want to basically can I say you want to find the difference between the keys and values. There is one extra city that is present in the key which is not present in the value. You have to find the city that exists in the key. Okay, okay, the got it, got it, got it. Yeah, if uh, okay. yes, 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 got it, got it. Uh, so with using contains, we can simply uh, compare all the keys and all the values, and uh, uh, so. I'm, I'm I I I got uh, one one problem here. So same thing. Uh, the problem will be what will be the starting point. So if we see uh, if if we we can do it uh, like if there is some city that is not uh, present in keys, but there will be one uh, one city that is not present in value also. Uh, yeah, but somehow since you're using hash map. Can you get the list of keys and can you get the list of values and then compare just and find the extra city in key? Okay, okay. Uh, I will not disturb. Does the extra city in value matter? 
you have to like as you only said your logic is like you have to find the extra city in key which is not there in value yeah yeah this this so line says this it is bombay right but in the value city that is extra in values is bangalore so that bangalore matter yeah bangalore matters if if it is not point. present into uh, my keys then it should be the last city okay but here we are talking about finding the first city so let's okay. say to find the first city yeah first city will be the city that is not uh, that is not present in values got your point am am i correct right uh, it should not be available in values Correct. Yeah, that's what you said, right? Your yeah. logic is like I have to find a city that is present in key yeah. but not present in value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got so, it. So is there a way we can do it? Yes, yes. So uh, we can uh, we have this map, right? Uh, so uh, we like here itself we can. Uh, I'll, I'll go inside this class. I'll write it over here. So we have this result map, right? So into uh, result uh, this result map only. Uh, no, no, not result map. We have routes, right? Okay, routes, uh, routes dot key set we can use, and we will have all the keys here. Uh, it will return me uh, all the keys, and then I can have a routes dot uh, key key values or uh, routes dot key values. So I I will first. Uh, uh then it it will be very simple only it will return me all the lists um it will be a list of uh, all the starting cities list of list of string yeah yeah now now i got the full idea starting cities will be start cities cities equal to this okay list of list of string destinations is equal to this and there will be i'll i tried this list for string str in uh, i will uh, i want to get the starting uh, uh, starting city so i need to uh, traverse the uh, i will traverse uh, my uh, uh, starting city should not be present into uh, these destinations then i will be able to i'll i read through all the cities and the city that is not present into uh, i'll i read through uh, start cities start cities destinations destinations contains uh, contains my str okay str i'll make it as city city i'll make it as contains city in that case uh, if it does not contain I'll, I'll, if it does not contain the city then this is my start city okay okay uh, so yeah just Sorry, if it's disturbed. There is one coder file link which I have said. Can you copy and move this entire content to coder file? Okay. Okay. And you can start working over there. That will be easy. This is okay, right? Okay. Shall I copy?
in this i need to write complete thing right like this only uh, yeah you can write like this only i just want to see your logic not okay. just okay okay, okay. okay then. practically it's okay if you are wrong but just want to check the logic okay okay got it uh, then string uh, start city starting uh, start city will be equal to if this uh, destinations does not contain contains city then they start in city is equal to city okay now i got my uh, starting city i'll come out of this uh, for loop and now i'll uh, i trade that uh, 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 that uh, routes map now and from routes i'll go to uh, i'll i trade through this now i'll i trade through this and i'll see uh, if no okay no no uh, uh, i'll i'll uh, no it's not required for uh, now i'll first print uh, i'll okay i'll get a uh, routes dot get i'll do with start city start city this it will print me the value of it will print me where i am going now again i will uh, okay this thing i will write in a method which will take argument as string okay method uh, with uh, print destination it will take string as uh, start city then I'll first no, it will give me the destination and then I'll again uh, I will print it print I'll print this uh, routes dot get city and then I will call this method again uh, print destination with okay uh, let me uh, put it into a variable Des destination equal to See, I will print destination and I will pass destination to this. Yeah. This way I will okay. be able to print. Out. Okay, so let's do a dry run. So first you will split your map into two parts, key set and value set. So key will have Chennai, Bombay, Goa, Delhi. Values will have Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai, Go. Okay. Yeah. Then you are looping over the key set that is start city, and you are checking for a city that doesn't exist in uh, the value set. So you will get the value city as Bombay, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say uh, in the second iteration only you will get the city as Bombay, right? Yeah. If I uh, if this in second iteration if i got this and then i will break over here okay yeah yeah okay so you got the start city as bombay then you are calling i believe you must be calling this yes. trade destination method. yes yes into from main i'll, I'll call it okay, okay okay fine that's fine so you are calling the spring destination it is checking the destination it is finding the next destination so it will take bombay from map it will find what is the next route to bombay that is delhi it will print delhi yeah. Okay. Uh, so I believe before that it must have printed Bombay somewhere at your line number twenty-eight. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It will print over. Uh, yeah. Either it. Uh, okay. It, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. That is fine. Uh, so it must have printed. Uh, it is printing Delhi at line number thirty-five. Then you are calling the same method again with passing Delhi. So this is the. A function calling itself, so it is a kind of a recursive call, right? Yeah. So tell me one thing. 
will this recursive call uh, terminate or it will yeah, keep on uh, continuing? No, I I need to check uh, if the destination uh, is not uh, destination is equal to root dot get city. If destination is uh, I'll I'll put a check over here and then uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I I I need to uh, pass this into a if condition only. Uh, otherwise, I won't call it. If destination uh, is not equal to null, in that case only. In that case only, I need to run this. Otherwise, I don't uh, want to uh, call it again. So, can you tell me what is the complexity of your code? Okay. So, in this code, I'm. Uh, this uh, this map. okay let's break it first tell me the complexity of for loop it will be o of n okay then come to this recursive function and tell me the complexity of recursive function yeah so that uh, here i'm not doing any loop nothing it's just a if loop inside it uh, okay and into map dot get is also uh, one only so it will uh, again be uh, o of n Okay, it will be O of n. So you are basically calling the same recursive function n times. Yes, correct. So it is O of n plus O of n. Yeah, O of n. O of two n. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, fine. Let's quickly jump to the next question since we are running short of time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. You know what is a queue data structure, right? Yeah. So you have to design yourself a queue data structure. Okay. So can you tell me what is a queue like? That's uh, One, yeah. Two, so first three, in, first four. out is a queue data structure. So, okay. So here since. One is added first. So if I am trying to do a delete operation, one will be deleted first, right? Yeah. Correct. Correct. And stack is last in first. Yeah, you said Q is people. Yeah. So stack is last in first okay. Yeah. So here two five will be deleted first. Yes. Okay. So you have to just don't write the logic. Uh, you can explain me since we are running short of time. You have to design a queue, but without using a queue. Class using a stack. Okay. 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 You can like you have to write a class Q that doesn't use a Q but uses a stack, but it follows people and not repo. It last in first term, but it follows first in first term. Got it. Just a second. Let me think of something. I'm using stack. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting one into it, two into it, three into it, four into it, five is at the top. Now, if I will pop from this stack, five will uh, come out, but I want one to come out, right? So I will pop five from this, put it into another stack. I will pop four, I will put it into another stack. Three, two, one, one will be at the top, and then from the second stack, I will be giving the output to user that this is your user. So uh, this is your output. So it will uh, now uh, when I am putting it into second stack, one is at the top, second is sec third, fourth, or fifth like this. So first will be popped okay. at. Uh, okay, so let's say you have you are saying you will use two stack object, right? Yes, correct. So first stack object, this is the structure. Okay. Yes. Now you said you will be popping it to yes. second stack. So after okay, popping, what will happen? Reverse. Five four. Okay, five four three two, two one. one. Correct. And you are no. doing a delete operation, so you want to delete one. Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. correct. So after deleting, you said since. It will be this. Opposite. Uh, uh, yes. Like if I will delete, then it will be. It will look. Uh, five. Uh, like one will go. Uh, one will be deleted at the top, right? First priority, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So one is deleted. Now you have five at the bottom, four above it, three above it, and two above it. Yeah. It will okay. behave similarly as the queue. Uh, in queue, if we are deleting, then one will be deleted first because of first in first out. Same way in this uh, my stack two, one will be deleted first. This way, you have two stacks. So initially, your stack one has this. Your stack two is empty. 
now you copy content from stack one to stack two. So yeah. Stack one will be empty, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you deleted the element from stack two. Okay. So you have five, four, three, two, or one, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So now will you copy this to stack one, or you will keep it in stack two only? So. Uh, what do we want? Uh, we just want to compare these both, right? What is uh, printing? Uh, what you, you have to write a queue that supports both insert and delete. Okay, so let's say now your stack. Uh, still now your stack one is okay, empty okay. because you have copied content in stack two and you have yeah. deleted the one from stack two. Now if there is a this thing insert and you want to insert an element, let's say ten. Okay. Now since you are doing a queue. The insertion should be at the end. Okay, okay, no, no. Then, then in that case, it will be a problem again. Okay, we if we are inserting into stack one, then that will not make sense. It will be the same only. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, we won't do in one go. Suppose if we are uh, from uh, this, we stack. Uh, Take out five. We uh, inserted it into, into this stack five four three two one. It will look like this. Okay. Uh, Pop it from. Now stack one is empty. Stack two contains it in the way five, four, three, two, one. Now we will put it into While copying from this five and then okay, uh, so tell me you have. Let's go back to the delete operation. Okay, the so first step your stack was already filled with five elements. Yeah. Okay, one being at the bottom and five being at the top. Now you are implementing a queue. So if delete comes, you want to delete the entry that has entered the stack first. So that's not five, that's one. Yeah, correct. Okay, so what you do, you empty your stack one into stack two. Yeah. So it goes in a reverse order: five, two, three, two, one. One comes at the top. You pop out one. So one gets deleted. Now your stack one is empty. Stack two has five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Now again, let's say the user says delete. Yeah. So. Okay. If the user says delete, so you are going to delete which element? One. It will delete one. From. One is already deleted. Let's say you are at line number fifty-three. Okay. One is already deleted. Again, insert. Like before asking you to insert, if the user says you want to delete one more element, so which element will be deleted? Uh, two will be deleted now. Okay. So you will directly delete two from stack two. Or you will follow the same process like tell stack one me you will copy then from stack one to stack two then if yeah we we it. need these values right if we delete it directly then uh, it it won't uh, we won't be able to find it again no you can delete it you can remove it directly you no need to keep it in as a backup or something see one you have deleted so one is not there in stack one not there in stack two it's not there anyway. Similarly, you can do it for two also, right? Yeah. If I do it for two, yeah. So this is a uh, like. Um, my my understanding was like this queue that we want so suppose uh, we instead of queue we uh, we now if for the same uh, operation we have stack 2 available 
so suppose if we wanted to delete first item then uh, uh, we wanted to delete uh, anyone from q uh, so uh, we will offer them stack 2 that uh, this will give the same implementation so delete in uh, q will delete 1 and delete in stack 2 will delete 1 okay same way uh, uh, if delete or uh, delete in uh, after this uh, operation delete in q will delete uh, 2 same way in stack 2 it will delete 2 so the uh, impl uh, this functionality is same for uh, q and stack 2 okay so this is like you are adding two consecutive deletes first is delete 1 second is delete 2 but between two deletes, you deleted one. If the user wants is asking to insert n, or say to skip out again, the user is saying delete. If you are having two consecutive deletes, your logic will work. But it may not happen, right? It depends on how the user calls this method. User may call delete yeah. first, then insert, then delete, or insert, delete, delete, any sequence. So yeah, so right? if, uh, yeah, if, if user is going through uh, any insertion, so uh, the insertion will always be there in stack 1 and uh, okay. uh, from uh, stack okay. 1 we will be again uh, in, in case of stack okay. we will be having two insertions always. Okay, so if you are saying your insertion will be always at stack 1. So let's take the example you have okay. deleted no, 1. No, no, okay, no, no, no. Your stack 1 is empty right now at line number 50 to 53 after deleting the first element and then you are saying like uh, if the user says he wants to insert element 10, then you, as you said, you will insert it directly into stack 1. But at present, stack 1 is empty. Uh, uh, stack so 1, uh, uh, in, in, one. in that case, if uh, we uh, first delete is working fine, for second uh, time, if they insert it, then uh, what we will be doing is we will be inserting it into stack uh, uh, into. Uh, will be inserting it over uh, we will be inserting it into stack 2 and then uh, uh, suppose 6 it came over uh, uh, we will be inserting it into we won't be inserting it into okay in that case we have to reverse the operation uh, what we did so we have to copy uh, all the elements of stack 2 back to stack 1 and then add that element and then copy it back to stack 2. Okay. That reverse operation we have to do. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, yeah, we are already running short of time. It's okay. Uh, we can leave this problem over here. Uh, any questions you have for me?